This is an example of what I'm starting out with on this project. This is my water flow problem. Now, when the water's been off, no one's using it, and you first turn it on, pressure's pretty good. Okay. Now, if you give it about uh, 10 to 20 seconds here, you'll notice the pressure starts to taper off. I believe that's because the resin beads in the water softener are moving around when the water's flowing and they're starting to plug up the uh, ports for the exit of the tank. Now it's been about 15 seconds or so and actually this time it's working pretty well. We'll, uh, we'll try something here though. We'll, we'll flush the toilet. Got a toilet flushing, and you can see the uh, water starting to taper off now as far as pressure goes. Now, a, a, one simple toilet flushing should not affect flow that much. There's a verified 50 psi at the entrance of the house. A flushing toilet, especially one that fills slowly, shouldn't affect pressure that much. Now, if I turn on the other thing, at the same time, now you can see dramatically how the pressure drops with just two faucets and toilet going. There should be, uh, these these water lines in this house are three quarter inch, so there should be no reduction in pressure for the hoses. Now, you got that going. Now, uh, let's say you're trying to take a shower and your wife, your wife uh, does the laundry and then she's filling up the wash machine, which is what happened last weekend. We'll leave the sinks on to simulate the uh, wash machine running. Right now the toilet's already finished filling. Uh, we'll take a quick look here at the shower. That is impossible to shower with. That is full pressure out of the shower with just two faucets flowing. So this is my before video of how bad my water pressure is in the house.
so this is my after video. I have replaced the water softener with a new 40,000 grain GE water softener. Let me just try here. Full flow has been restored. It got good pressure, good flow. Turn on the other sink. No reduction in flow. So try flushing the toilet. Toilet has been flushed. We're uh, 41 seconds into this, and by now, you can tell by my prior video that water pressure would be dipping. Two sinks and a bath, or two sinks and the uh, toilet running. No reduction in pressure. Gander here. Yep. And go over here. And you can see I have full pressure return to my shower. Even with two sinks and a toilet running at the same time. So I would call this a success. Full pressure returned. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.